So, Gravity Falls. A fan base that is well known for its incredible theories and fan creations. From puzzles to real life hunt treasure hunts, it's probably the most interactive fandom I know. That said, being over a decade old now, Gravity Falls has been more or less bled dry of theories. Spoilers ahead! If you haven't seen Gravity Falls, I 11 out of 10 stars recommend it. Please go watch it. You can find it on Disney Plus and probably other things. I have not done research into this. I am just ad-libbing it as I go. And disclaimer, I do not own Gravity Falls. I do not own these pictures, except for, like, the thumbnail, which I worked pretty hard on, so if you want to say something, I'd appreciate that. What I'm trying to say, these characters aren't mine. Alex Hirsch made them, and Disney owns them. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Most everyone who wanted to has read the Lost Legends book and or has scanned their own copy of Journal 3. Through this, most people have found the hidden messages across the series. From inside jokes to major groundbreaking news, it seems we found it all. In Lost Legends, we learn that there are occasional rifts in space-time and changes in the landmass such as Mabel's Fault, which was kind of cruelly named, I gotta say. We learn that Bill lives, which is its own thing with dozens of its own theories. There's even an Easter egg of Eda the Owl Lady from the hit show The Owl House. This was two years before The Owl House was released. Through the journal, we found a rather dark note that Mabel had found after Bill had possessed Dipper in Sock Opera. It's, I don't know, a little less PG than the show typically is. And Fiddleford once says a prophecy that takes place in the beginning of every episode of the intro. When gravity falls and earth becomes sky, fear the beast with just one eye. First, it shows gravity falls, then it turns upside down so that the earth is the sky, and then finally we get the tiniest glimpse of Bill, the beast with just one eye. All in rapid succession. The point is, we know all of this. We've learned more and more depth and background, and even eventually learned to decipher all of the ciphers. But I have a tendency to hyper-obsess and overanalyze everything I cross paths with, and I noticed something a tad strange, to say the least. The numbers 3 and 4 are repeated in Gravity Falls, because I'm pretty sure everything in there is based around them. In the show, there are three journals. Ford has six fingers on each hand, which adds to 12 fingers in total. He also has 12 PhDs. And what's 3 times 4? 12. It's all well known that the numbers 6 and 18 are hidden all throughout the show, because it's Alex Hirsch and his twin sister's birthday on June 18th. But both 6 and 18 are divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. Divide that by 3 again and you have 2. What's 2 plus 2? 4. Dipper and Mabel are supposed to be 12 for the majority of the show. And again, 3 times 4 is 12. Stan and Ford are supposed to be 68. 68 divided by 4 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. 60 degrees that come in threes and watches from within birch trees, saw his own dimension. We've all heard it. Counting the Ibats, there are 15 hench henchmaniacs, and that's of course including Bill because he's definitely a part of that chaos. 15 is divisible by three as well. At the beginning of the show, there are three members of the Pines family living in the mystery shack, and at the end, there's four. There are two main sets of twins throughout the show, and that makes a total of four twins. If you include Schmipper and Schmabel, that's three sets in the show, and if you add the sibling brothers, well, that's four sets of twins. We see three unicorns, Lustabella, Bethabel, and the other two. The shapeshifters, experiment number 210, and 2 plus 1 plus 0 is 3, or you can look at it as 2 plus 21 and a 0, and 21 divided by 3 is 7, and 3 plus 4 is also 7. There are three main antagonists, which are Pacifica, Gideon, and Bill. There's also three named animals, Jeff, Gompers, and Waddles, and there's three episodes in Weird Mageddon. And don't forget Sir Lord Quentin Tremley III, Esquire. Dipper's clones 3 and 4, Tracy and Quattro, are still alive and out in the woods somewhere. Make sure they don't get wet. And then there's the background characters that we get to see more than once, that often have the spotlight shown on them to some extent. That would be Blubs, Derlin, Bud, Toby, Chandra, Manly Dan, Wax Larry King, Agents Powers and Trigger, Blendon Blandon, Lazy Susan, and of course Robbie. That is 12. Divide by 3 or 4 and you will get the other. There's also three characters that are not quite main characters, but not quite background characters, but definitely ones that we know and love, which are McGucket, Seuss, and Wendy. Wendy has four friends that have not been mentioned so far, which are Lee, Nate, Tambry, and Thompson. So what's so special about the numbers 3 and 4? Why do they show up so much? 
Well, the number four is easy. It could be very easily alluding to the fourth journal, which is revealed to exist in the Gravity Falls Lost Legends book. You can see it behind Schmebulock in a single panel. But what about three? I suppose you could link three to the journals, but that's too easy. And I'm sure you're expecting me to say that just means there's a third season. But we have been told multiple times in the past decade that Gravity Falls is finished, despite all that is left unanswered. And while it's very hard, we do have to respect that. Perhaps it has to do with Dipper and Mabel's pa grandparent, Shermie, who the fandom as a whole knows little to nothing about. We don't even know if Shermie was a boy or a girl. We just get occasional glance of a swaddled baby and some flashbacks and memories. And some people speculate that that was actually their mother or their father, and not their grandparent. Shermie was probably a girl, based on this picture hanging to the left of Ford's picture, but we're not certain that's who she is. Nor do we have a way to tie her to the number three, unless you count her being one of the three siblings we know of. So, what else has three? Uh, Bill, I guess. But again, way too easy. So I suppose this bit is still a mystery. What do you think it could tie into? Or should it just remain? A mystery. Boo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo.